We have a nice level backfill here. The engineer has specified a grid on the top of the first course, so eight inches from the base. So we put this grid in. He specified an eight and a half foot grid length that's measured from the face of the block to the tail of the grid. We want to make sure that it's in and tensioned properly. We'll use a good spike or a sod staple and we'll be able to drive that spike in here to make sure this grid is properly tensioned. You'll notice there's a wedge shaped opening here. That wedge shaped opening is due to the convex curve of our wall. We can't get our grid tight and we don't want to overlap it. Never overlap grid. So we have this opening. We're going to step up four inches. We're going to put in another course of grid with four inches of aggregate and that will take care of that opening. Now you'll notice here we have grid, a budding grid. This is a proper installation. Grid never overlaps grid, just a budding. And make sure you install it with its strength direction.